Um, here you are 15 years later. Mia's gone on this incredible journey for you as an actor. What's that been like for you? It's been amazing. I, I recently got asked like, does it make it easier to play the same role over the years? And I think what you have to watch, what I have to watch is that you don't get lazy. Like I, on Fast and Furious 5, there was so much that I kind of went back and watched one and uh, fo uh, four and yeah, four. And I just, I tried to like revisit it to see like where we had been and sort of, you know, to, that was my way of preparing. So it's fun when you sort of have a catalog of stuff to, to look at. And the idea this time Mia, you know, they, they never short shrift the women in these stories, which is kind of lovely when you consider it's action in cars and, yeah. and, and all of this testosterone. Mm -hmm. And both you and Michelle have great arcs here. Uh, Mia has has a lot going on. She does. Mia's like, it, it's amazing to me because she's so stoic and selfless. And so different from, I mean, my response, if, if my husband were in danger or if my brother were in danger, I'd be like, you guys, let's hole in and like no one's going anywhere. But she's like, you guys have to go out there and deal with this and come back to your family. And um, it always amazes me how, how stoic she is and brave. So she really, and she's kind of like the voice of reason in the franchise. I think she's always telling the guys, especially Brian and Dom, like here's what you have to do and sort of pointing them in the right direction. And bigger isn't always necessarily better, but it seems as each film comes out, they are bigger. Yeah. They're stronger, there's more going on. Mm -hmm. how, how do you describe this one? I think in a sense, I mean, James brought a really different sensibility to it, which was really nice to see. I, I don't, he didn't make the mistake of like, I mean, it is bigger, but it's not insane. I feel like you still, because we, we never want to lose the audience's ability to suspend their disbelief. We never want to jump the shark in that way. And so far we haven't, which is amazing. While, while doing these insane stunts. Um, so I think what, what keeps the film grounded is the characters and the relationships. And James paid such attention to it, especially Letty and Dom's relationship in this story. I think that was, that was such a nice turn from all the other Fast and Furiouses. And we've always known that Dom and Mia have this wonderful bond, but in this mm -hmm. one, He's there for her. It's so nice. They're, they're speaking to each other more as, a, like, peers in a way. Like, she's sort of bouncing ideas off of him. And um, that, that was a really nice scene at the Toretto house. I really liked it because they, they, it's not like, I think in, in the past she's always advising him or he's advising her and, and they're always in harm's way. But in this it was mo way more, like, familiar and something I think people can relate to in a sense. Um, so it was really nice. Is it fair to say it's that way with you and Vin as well? It is in a big way. It's really nice with Vin. I, I, I often confide in him and um, it's rare with Vin that like you have quick conversations. Like with Vin everything goes deeper and deeper and deeper um, which is really nice. Um, Mia's a mom now. She has a, a toddler. Mm -hmm. You're a, a parent now. Yeah. Can you, does it ha in any way change your, uh, your approach? It completely changes my approach to be a mom. I mean, th there was a scene we shot with Jack um, where he's in danger. And I think, you know, as an actress, you try to approximate what something feels like and empathize, but just envisioning my son in a car that was, I just, it, it makes everything so much more visceral. So when I'm just screaming and running towards that car, I just, I think it was far more real now that I can relate to that so much more. I mean, you talked about James a little bit earlier, but, but what did he bring to this? It was certainly a fresh set of eyes. Yeah, James, I mean, the action was done so well, obviously, but he also, there were certain things I read in the script and I was like, gosh, this is so different for our audience. Like, I don't know if they're gonna go with this. The, the, particularly the very emotional things. And he really dealt with them, especially the, the flashbacks, in, in such a way that they weren't too much, they weren't sappy, they were really sweet and artfully done. And I, th I thought that was what was, that was, that's really tricky in a Fast and Furious film, and he did them so, so well. Yeah, balance is always tricky in an action film. Oh, yeah. If you don't have heart, if you don't have emotion, it doesn't matter how many cars you crash, right? No, no, you have to care about the characters.
And there was a lot of humor in it too. I thought Dwayne brought so much humor into it, which is something you also need because you kind of like need to take a breather between all the huge set pieces and action stunts and all of that. Does it ever cease to amaze you, the appetite that audiences around the world have for these new films when they're coming out? It, it does amaze me. I mean, it's, I, you know, it's not something I, I take for granted at all, but I think I'm starting to realize that part of the appeal is that our audience is growing with us, in a sense. So I think they, they're, they're going on the journey with us and they're expanding with us. So it's kind of, we're kind of in this together, which is, which is really nice. Perfect. Cool. Thank you so Thank much. You. It was nice.